Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Guyton and I have a topic that I think will help a lot of women in this crazy world we call dating. And so what am I going to talk about today? Cracking your code. How easy is it to crack your code? How easy is it for me to gain access to you? Gain access to you physically? Gain access to you emotionally? Mentally? How easy is it for me as a guy to crack your code? Or any guy to crack your code is what we're talking about. And so I want to look at this whole concept of cracking your code from two different angles first. Um, first let's talk about this the Mr. Right Mr. Right he wants to crack your code but the reason he wants to crack your code is for the purposes of connecting with you he wants to meet you mentally spiritually and emotionally but the beautiful thing about Mr. Right is that while he's working to crack your code you're cracking his code at the same time and so you're both opening up at the same time through the process now Mr. Wrong on the other hand he wants to crack your code he wants to have access to you physically mentally and emotionally but the reason he wants access to you is to control you so you realize that Mr. Wrong, while you're opening up and he's cracking your code, then he's keeping himself closed. So you're not getting access to him at all, but he has all the access to you. And so sometimes he just wants access to your situation down below. You know what I'm talking about. But... The thing is, how easy is it to crack your code? Because that makes a difference regardless of if it's Mr. Right or Mr. Wrong. Because, man, it's two different effects. Mr. Right, he wants a challenge. It's almost like playing a, a strategic game. If somebody tells you how to beat that game easily and it happens quickly, then you're going to feel like you didn't really accomplish anything. And so then people don't value what they don't accomplish. But if he has to work for it and you put him through a lot to make sure that he is really true to you, that he really wants to be with you and get to know you, then he's going to value you a lot more. But see, the thing is, on the opposite end, Mr. Wrong wants it to be quick. He wants to crack your code, get what he can, get out. Out of there or here's the important thing about mr. wrong if you have a code on there that he has to work for if he's mr. wrong he's not gonna put in the work to crack your code and so that's the way you eliminate mr. wrong is by setting a code meaning setting standards for yourself making sure that you don't open up to a guy too quickly make him prove himself to you and make him show that he's willing to put in the work to crack your code and people value what they work for and that's just that's the reality of the world we live in yes there are some women who have guys who are uh, you know people would say are promiscuous or all those different things who have guys or whatever but sometimes look at those relationships and tell me if they're healthy or not are they balanced relationships if you want a balanced healthy relationship with mr. right you have to set standards for yourself you sometimes you may think that you'll push a guy away because you set these standards you don't want to have sex quickly um, that you respect yourself to a certain level but that doesn't really push guys away it actually brings them closer because they love women who respect themselves they take advantage of women who open themselves up but they won't stay with those women for long and so as I always say don't ever settle. Set high standards. That's how you attract Mr. Right and that's how you keep Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong will actually run away because he's not willing to put in the work. Hey the book is coming. Go check out the website, um, thegenuinescholar.com. I got another website for the book coming out soon. And so, um, Facebook group. Go follow the Facebook group. It's at the bottom. Have a good one.